<clears throat> right, so uh, you can actually use the DeepL technology free of charge. You can try it out free of charge or you can actually use it for whatever you do with your computer free of charge. So uh, for this, uh, please uh, go to this uh, DeepL webpage, which is www.deepl.com and just please download this uh, application for Windows. So you can download it. You just click on download for Windows, then save, um, uh, save the file. And now you just wait a couple of seconds for it uh, to download. Yeah, well, anyway, I have already downloaded and installed this application already. So as you can see, it's already running right here. And, uh, you know, uh, if you want to use this DeepL, if you want to try it out, you can just uh, go to whatever application you want and uh, you can use this DeepL technology uh, to translate your text. So, for instance, uh, here I am in my very old uh, SDL Charter Studio 2011. So if I want to translate this text, uh, I can just uh, select it and then I press, uh, then I press and hold the control key and I press the C key two times like this. And as you can see, it will uh, copy uh, this uh, text into the DeepL application. So the copied text is right here and it will also translate it into the language of your choice. Uh, in my case, it's Czech because that's my native language. So I'm translating into Czech. Well, uh, to, to be completely sincere, <laughs> I think uh, this is nice if you are just a student and you just need to translate uh, a few sentences into your target language or if you just work in your office and you need to translate some text into your native language. I can imagine this can especially be useful with texts uh, with text that you uh, that are in a language you don't really speak. So, for instance, in my case, it'll be, for instance, Chinese or Japanese. I have no idea how to say anything in Chinese or Japanese. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know a word in Chinese or Japanese. So, in that case, this will be immensely useful for me. But, well, to be completely sincere, for me as a professional translator, well, I translate from English, German and uh, Czech uh, and sorry, French into Czech. So I use these four languages. These are my mm, professional languages. Well, so in this case, this uh, DeepL application is not really useful for me because, uh, you know, if I, for instance, uh, work in this uh, SDO studio, well, sure, I can, I can copy the source text into the target segment. I can even select it and now I press and hold control and I press two times C. But you know, it will just copy the text into this DeepL application and sure, it will translate it into Czech. But now if I wanted to use this translated, uh, this translated text, I would need to copy it and go back to my SDR studio and to just insert it here. Yeah, well, so yeah. <laughs> Somehow it can be used, but it's not too effective and it's pretty uh, slow. Uh, but well, anyway, you have also the option in this DeepL application to translate whole documents. So is that actually useful for me as a professional translator? Well, <laughs> not really, because as you can see, it only translates uh, these uh, Word and PowerPoint files. And uh, no, this is not not really useful for me because I would actually need if this software, if deep, if this deep L application could translate the Trados files for me. Yeah, yeah. Well, that will be useful certainly. But this PowerPoint and Word, no, not really. So uh, this technology, this uh, or rather this deep L application is okay if you want to try out this deep L technology, translation technology free of charge, because yes, it is free of charge. I don't know what the limit actually is, but I have 
uh, read that the limit is actually pretty high, so you can translate lots of text with this. But, well, it's not really useful to me as a translator. Well, so what could I actually do with this? So, as I have already mentioned in the previous video, uh, if you want to use this DeepL technology, uh, DeepL technology is something like Google Translate, if you don't understand what I'm talking about. It's something like Google Translate, but it can translate slightly better. It uses better syntax and better vocabulary. So, it's uh, certainly an interesting technology, that's for sure. But anyway, if you want to use it in Trader Studio or in MemoQ or in Acros or in whatever CAD tool, or not whatever CAD tool, in certain CAD tools, I suppose not all tech, not all CAD tools support the technology. But anyway, if you want to use it in these uh, CAD tools, you would need the API key. I already spoke about the API key. That's a special key you would need from DeepL to be able to connect to their portal and uh, to get the translations and to get them into your uh, CAD tool. Um, but uh, also, you can use it with Bohemicus. Uh, Bohemicus is a special tool I developed myself, which is right here. And this tool enables you to use many, many interesting features and functions in actually any application of your choice. So in this case, I'm gonna use it. Uh, I'm gonna use Bohemicus in conjunction with uh, SDL Trado Studio. And as you can see, we have here these three options for um, for the uh, for the automated translation for the machine translation feature. So this is Google, my memory, my memory, and DeepL. And since this video is about DeepL, so I'm gonna be using this uh, DeepL technology. Okay, so now I can back to I can go back to my SDL Trados, and now it's very easy. I can uh, um, sorry, I just checked the language. Yes, okay. I can just press uh, space. I can just press Control plus a space, and it will automatically translate my text uh, into into my SDL Trados. As you can see, it's very easy. Just press Control plus uh, space. And this is much more useful because it translates directly into your CAD tool. And uh, of course, uh, with this uh, with this SDL, with this very old SDL Studio, with this SDL Trados 2011, Bohemicus is actually the only way how to use the DeepL technology with your CAD tool because this very old SDL Studio does not support uh, uh, DeepL. Uh, in the most uh, in the most recent version of uh, SDL Trados, of course, DeepL is supported. But Bohemicus is still very useful if you want to use this DeepL technology in some other CAD tools. Uh, now, I don't know if uh, Transit, for instance, Transit can support DeepL or any automatic translation. But with Bohemicus, of course, it can. You can do that with Bohemicus. You can do that also in some other tools, for instance, in online tools such as SmartCAD or Crowding, or XTM, or Coach, or some other tools. You can very much, very well use Bohemicus for these online tools. And you can also use the DeepL technology in these uh, online tools. Uh, so this was just a quick comparison uh, between the free of charge DeepL application, which we have right here. and. Uh, and the SDL Studio, which you would typically use for your translation work.